Okay, cavitation is, well there's lots of different definitions for it and lots of, <laughs> lots of people have a different way of describing it. The way I'm going to describe it is, uh, it is induced by the low pressure on the low pressure side of the fin or the high pressure side of the fin. As, a, as a, the flow accelerates around the foil, the pressure drops, the, the two are intricately connected. So low pressure, higher velocity means lower pressure. Now as that pressure drops to some minimum level below the, uh, the free stream pressure, uh, well like the, the pressure of the natural water, which is pretty much the atmospheric pressure, you will start pulling bubbles out of the water. Now there's lots of dissolved air in the water, especially at the surface where you have waves, and it's a bit like a soft drink bottle. If you open the soft drink bottle, you'll see bubbles just coming out of it. Uh, they're the dis they're dissolved bubbles in the water, and it's basically you've reduced the pressure in the bottle. So it's a good analogy actually, uh, a soft drink bottle or a beer bottle. Um, and it takes some time for all of those bubbles to come out. And we're essentially doing the same on a fin. There's all this, this air dissolved and even tiny little bubbles just sitting in the surface of the water. If you drop the, the water pressure, those bubbles will expand. And what they do is they'll either sit on the, the foil as big bubbles and grow and they'll suck other bubbles in and they'll grow bigger and bigger and you'll end up with this great big cavity behind the fin. That's cavitation. The consequence of it is that it's changed, essentially it's changed the effective profile of the fin and made it thicker. So you lose lift for starters and so what you'll notice is as, as the foil starts to cavitate you will um, you'll end up pushing it harder, the drag goes up as you push it, um, the angle will increase but you won't get any more lift so you can keep pushing and pushing and all it will do is just go more sideways even at really really high speeds. So you can see this happening to the guys on the canal for example. If you watch the videos you'll see the boards doing this even when they're doing 45 knots. If the fin wasn't cavitating you, they would be putting 200 kilos on the fin to be doing that. It would have to be doing 200, you'd have to be putting hundreds of kilograms on there to get it to sit at that angle in the water. So they, they, their fins are cavitating, no doubt. Um, and that's what happens. So basically you lose lift, uh, the lift slope is lost, the drag goes through the roof, um, several times the drag, and the worst thing about it is because now you've thickened up the effective profile, the wake is, is extremely turbulent and it gives you, there's a lot of energy in that wake and it's, it's, uh, you can, it throws off a really big vortex and it makes the fin way, way more susceptible to spin out through ventilation. Now, ventilation is where you've created a channel to allow air to feed into the low pressure side from the surface. And that, that generally happens with fins, and this is what causes spin out. It generally happens through the tail of the board. You end up with a strong vortex at the base of the fin, which is a low pressure core that goes a long way behind the board. And if that core hits the surface of the water, it actually sucks air down and goes back upstream through the core and allows an air channel into the fin on the low pressure side. And then once that's there, that low pressure just sucks more in and <laughs> gone, spun out, crash. So that's why cavitation is bad for those two reasons. One, it acts as a speed limiter, it acts as a brake. And the other is it, it makes you susceptible to spin out. So with our uh, asymmetric sections, we've worked extremely hard to minimize the effects of cavitation and to maximize the speed at which it happens. Now a typical 8% section that the guys are running on, on uh, their speed fins on the canal has a cavitation inception point around 52 knots. So they're doing 52 knots. Is there any surprise? No. These ones designed for 55 or 56 depending on the salinity and water temperature. So that, that changes things slightly. Uh, we actually model that in our, in our software uh, and it's, yeah, it's, it's interesting to see how, how sensitive these sorts of things are to cavitation. Um, there are other variables of course, is how much air is dissolved in the water, how far down that is, um, what the ambient pressure is, you know, that's the, all these things affect how, uh, how the foil will cavitate and at what speed it reaches cavitation. But it's quite predictable. Um, We've got plenty of data that, that correlates the modelling we use and it's, uh, it's a big factor, it's a really big factor and it's the main factor I believe that stops us from going any faster than the current windsurfing records.